We are continuing to follow breaking news this morning out of Cleveland. That's where crews had to rescue several people after a house fire. And there were at least two dozen cats in that home as well. News Channel 5's Mario Lou live in Cleveland with more. And Mario, what's happening right now? Well, Pete, uh, fire crews were just called back to the scene. You see firefighters now going back inside the house, most likely because uh, something inside of the home was still smoldering. There were investigators that were that are inside of the house. Again, about 30 seconds ago, two fire trucks just pulled up and firefighters went back inside the home. Let's go ahead and get you to this video so I can tell you what happened earlier this morning. Uh, police officers drove by this house and saw it smoking like this, smoke billowing from the windows. Several people were rescued. Four people were taken to Metro Hospital with uh, smoke-related injuries. They were all in stable condition, which is the good news. Many of those rescues came from the third floor. Most of the damage is done to the bottom of the home. Uh, there is nothing official, of course, yet, but it, it's looking as though, according to investigators here on the scene, that's where the fire started. That's where uh, the house is blackened on both the inside and the outside. The upstairs of the house, the lights were still on. Uh, things seem to be in order. Let's go ahead and take you to the other video now. Several animals were inside of this house. If we have the video of the cats here, we're told by EMS crews 23 cats at least were inside of this home. We know of five for sure that were rescued. They were given oxygen inside of a fire truck here. Uh, something re relatively new uh, for animals, but they seem to adapt to it very well. They were not able to move at first, smoke damage to the animals. They sat there quietly and patiently and breathed in that oxygen and within moments were up and walking around. Later on, we saw the owner carrying the cats one by one wrapped in towels uh, to where he is going to have to go to. Now, there is no word of Red Cross being on the scene or what's going to happen to the owner of the house. I did try to speak with him, as you can imagine, just having lost his house. He's still very, very upset. A lot of things on his mind right now. So we were not able to talk to him yet. But we do know that he was walked through the house with investigators and allowed to take some of his belongings out in a trash bag. So we could only assume, again, that no one is allowed to stay here. He is the only person here in the house. And the homeowner is still here uh, on the scene now. We're, of course, still going to continue to gather information for you. Anything else I get, I'll have another update from right here. Reporting live in Cleveland, Mario Lou, News Channel 5.